This is a little demonstration of dynamic positioning for feature templates. For feature templates, they're often based on features that have upstream geometric references. They'd be looking for a body to attach to or a curve to follow or things like that. Um, in cases where we don't have those kinds of upstream geometry references in a feature template, um, we have generally a, a chunk of geometry then that we can reposition pretty, pretty freely. And so we're going to be able to uh, add control for a feature like that, feature template like that, to, to go out and do that dynamic positioning. And that's an optional behavior that we can turn on in the author dialog. Okay. So in this particular case here, we've got, uh, no pun intended, we have a couple of phone cases. <laughs> and, uh, and we're going to put some logos on the back of these uh, just for fun. And uh, so these are both uh, templates, uh, template driven. These are both uh, product templates, actually, two different incarnations, really, of the same template on, on uh, wrapped around two different phones. And, and what we're going to do here is come to our reuse library, and we have a logo here that's a chunk of geometry, does not have any external references, and so we're going to pretty freely position this, right? And we're going to take that logo, and we're going to put it on the back of each of these phone cases here, all right? Now, let's start with this one. We're going to make this one the work part. And uh, so we've, we, again, made that one the work part in the context of our, of our assembly. And from the reuse library, we're going to grab our logo test, bring that out, and drop it onto that, that back face right there. And, uh, and what we want to do now is, yeah, infer uh, using that face where we're going to put it. So that's given us some orientation. Uh, we can put this in dynamic mode here if we want to. And, uh, and start to do that. Let me fit this over here and we can see kind of where that is. Yeah, that's that's out there. Um, it's gonna be right here in this corner. So, <laughs> so we bring that down. Uh, that's a pretty good position for it right there. Um, we can choose here after the fact to unite this. So again, there's not a unite feature in the feature template, but we can choose in this kind of case to have a late Boolean and choose to unite it, for instance, to that body. So what that's gonna do then is um, attach that little logo to this body, right? And so we've got those in place. I think I've got some sketch curves that are showing there. I can hide those. And uh, and we can see here now our combined logo, again, attached to this body. So we have a little raised embossed area there on the, uh, that's, that's this area, okay? So similarly, we can do the same thing over here, make this one the work part grab our logo and bring it out there. And, uh, and as we do that, we can uh, come and again, let's do a late Boolean with this guy. And for our positioning here again, yeah, we can infer, let's grab the back of that guy and then go dynamic and we can bring that down maybe lower on this particular model. And uh, again, that'll drop in our, our logo on this one. Right. If we want to edit that, we can come back and double click and say, yeah, let's move it up here actually, right? And do that kind of interactive uh, repositioning of those where that makes sense, okay? So, and again, that's attached now to this, uh, this body and embossed that into the back of the, the part. So that's uh, an example there again of uh, a feature template here that, sorry, this one, logo test, uh, that that is able to do that positioning if we open up the definition of this particular logo test This is uh, again a very thin uh, thin body that's going to get attached uh, on there and uh, If we come in and look at this feature template specifically we'll see that um, As we're looking at the interface here. There are no geometric references out there other than the CSIS uh, out there and the CSIS here actually is coming from um, this uh, CSIS positioning here, right? So we have a um, we have a main dialog with no geometric references. In that case, we're going to have this add template positioning show up in our main dialog here, and we can set that to true. And when that's true, then uh, it'll add this this thesis right here. If we make this false; it makes that go away, uh, which is the simpler case there. But again, in, in cases specifically where we don't have those geometric references, we can uh, we can add that, and it'll add that positioning thesis there for us. Okay, I like how it was before, so I won't save that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're doing there. And uh, I hope you find that very useful.